Hey YouTube, it's Marita from The Nurse Lounge and today we are actually going to do something very different. We're going to do a get ready with me nurse chit chat um, video today. So I'm not really going anywhere to be honest with you. I'm just going to go ahead and do my makeup because I'm actually about to film today. So since I'm filming today, I just thought that I would go ahead and take you behind the scenes, create a video so that you can see at least what the prep is for me to get ready. But while we're here, let's talk nursing. So if you want to see this video, we're going to talk nursing. We're going to get ready. We're going to do my makeup today. Then please stay tuned. Moving on a skinny overdue. Long vibes looking like an NFL view. I don't really need somebody new. Keep moving up and when it come to you. Everybody needs a happy boo. Don't let me just make one out of you. Can't nobody mend your heart for you. There ain't nothing like super glue. Just keep moving. Hot loose ends. You choose it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Hot loose ends. You choose it. So as you can see, I'm bare faced. This will be a long video. So I'm warning you now, it will be a long video because I am taking you from not per se beginning to end because I've already washed my face, moisturized and things like that. But because we are multitasking here and I'm talking about nursing and doing makeup at the same time. Plus I wanna show you the products that I'm using. Um, this is gonna be a long video. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. As you can see, I am bare faced and I have um, a few products that I've already used. I'm gonna tell you what I did for my uh, wash routine, skincare routine for today. This is not an everyday skin routine for me. Um, it's just today is film day and sometimes I just don't wanna use my high-end products when it comes to filming. So today I use my Clean and Clear Lemon Cleanser. Uh, it's a gel cleanser. It says it cuts through oil and dirt. Um, I do like this. This is a cheap alternative if you don't have money for higher-end products. This is a great product and it works. So I did use this as my cleanser today. For my toner, I actually used the Witch Hazel Dick, uh, Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel right here. I am actually trying to use this up. I am aware that because it has alcohol in it, it is not the best. However, once I purchase something, um, if it's not messing my skin up in terms of vi visibly or making me break out, I will finish using a product. And honestly, the alcohol is what helps. I have oily skin, so it helps kind of, I won't say dry my skin out, but in terms of keeping the oils at bay. So this is what I use for that. I do have another one I'm gonna start using that does have no alcohol in it, so that will be better for my skin, but I do use Witch Hazel. I use this at day and night. All right, and so then I use my Minimo Bling Vitamin C drops right here, as you can see. Um, I just simply take a few drops and rub it in my skin. This right here is a black owned business and I definitely recommend you support them. And then I followed up with my Minimo Dark Spot Serum right here. So I use these products pretty much every single day, either morning or night. I have another one that I brand that I use as well that's called Butter, that's black owned. And again, this is what my skin looks like. Now I do have problem areas, as you can see. I'm not flawless by any means. You can see right through here, problem areas. And I have a pimple that looks like it has a pulse right there. That one hurts. So what I use to treat that is the Mario Badesco Acne Skin Skin acne skincare serum right here this is something new that i'm trying this was in my last ulta haul that i picked up and i definitely am liking this so far um it definitely helps keep my um pimples at bay when they come up they tend to um this really helps so next i have my moisturizer which is the origins original skin matte moisturizer with willow herb and I use this one definitely because I have dry oily skin and I like to help mattify my skin. So this is what we're using today for my moisturizer. And next, it's time to do my brows. So we will do, actually no, we're gonna prep, we're gonna prime first. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Oil Control Mist Primer. The only thing you do with this is basically just spray it on your face and you rub it in. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. It is cold and I just simply rub it in 
and it is an oil control primer so that's what i need because i have oily 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 skin and this makeup will not last and i'm using um i find a foundation today that is hydrating so that may be to my detriment but it's a very good foundation i like it and since i'm only filming today i'm not really going out in the streets or anywhere so i'm dealing with the elements of the sun then i feel like this will be fine all right so while that primer is absorbing we will go ahead and do my brows next and hmm where is it at i am using the maybelline my brow no it's not maybelline brow ultra slim pencil and it's in the color deep brown 260 and this is one that I typically use quite often. I actually like this one. It is definitely one to um, help fill in my brows. I have brow hair, as you can see, but it is thin. So we have to add to it. All right, so let's go ahead and start this chit chat about nursing. So I was asked the question, how did I choose postpartum as my specialty? and why did i pick that one basically and basically just know when it comes to being a nurse in general nursing was never my first love psychology was and there's videos i have on why my, my nursing path and how i got here but just know so i'll just brush my brows out i'm gonna actually use this in right here just to actually fill them in with hair like strokes and so um when it came to being a nurse in general so i had knew very young actually that i liked moms and babies and growing up as a little girl i had i was the only child even though i have siblings i was the only child and basically you know i always had my little dolls and so my mom would always tell me and i would take care of my, my baby dolls very very well i mean very well i had diapers for them my dad would buy actually real baby diapers for my dolls and so i had that and i would actually just basically um use that to i would use that you know just to play mom and and do those types of things and my mom would always tell me you're gonna make a great mom because you take care of your babies and i would have my little dolls lined up and fed and everything here i would have their hair combed i had dolls with real hair oh you know doll hair have their hair combed and and the whole nine so anyway fast forward um once i realized that psychology was not going to work for me I was watching shows on a TV, I think it was TLC back then, called Maternity Ward and things like that. And those shows really prompted me to want to be a postpartum nurse. I was never really into the labor and delivery part of it, just not my thing. Um, in hindsight, right now, I've told this on other videos, as I have any regrets, is not learning labor and delivery just so that could be more marketable. But in terms of just coming out of school, it was nothing that I was very just interested in, just in terms of I want to be a labor and delivery nurse. I really wanted to just take care of the moms and teach the moms about how to care for their babies and things like that. So that was what my desire was to do. So once the opportunity came about to go to nursing school, and I basically just waited for the opportunity for the time it was to um, basically learn, you know, when that rotation came up for school, make sure that I make sure that I um, paid attention and, and make sure this is what I really wanted to do. So this is what I recommend that you all do. When you find a rotation that you even think um, that you're interested in, you need to make sure you get all the knowledge you can from that rotation. So that's something I highly recommend that you all do. I recommend that you definitely spend time really thinking about what specialty that you wanna do. I'm next gonna use my Pro Conceal in the color Fawn to basically um, outline my brows. And I honestly just use this flat ended Q-tip to wipe it away. I happen to love this because of the fact that it has the applicator right here, so it makes it easier to use. I use this all the time. So I really recommend that you definitely do that where you spend some time, um, where you spend some time basically and i'm using you're going to see me look up i'm using my vanity mirror here as well
um, I got it a little too high in the actual brow, but I'll clean that up in just a minute. So basically this is how I do that. And I do the top. People will tell you to do the top in terms of making sure that you are like a, the same color as you. I don't really care about all that. I do my own thing when it comes to makeup. You know, there's no right rules per se. You just do what you want to do, and whatever makes you happy, wear what you want to wear. So anyway, I do recommend that you do that. I do recommend that you spend some time thinking and researching what you want to do and definitely follow someone who, who does that or ask, definitely ask questions. So then you will know basically, what do I want to do as a nurse? And will it be something I can do for 12 hour shifts? And can I do it for years? That's the key. Can you do it for years? Will you still like this job in say five or six or 10 or 15 years? You know, you may thought that you want to be an ER nurse because of the fact that, you know, you love, you know, the trauma, you love the excitement, you love the, you know, always the adrenaline rush and things like that. And that may be great, but you may decide definitely later on that, hey, my body is not built for this anymore. And your body will definitely wear on you when it comes down to it at the time where it comes to um, when it comes down to it, you have to figure out, you know, is this something I want to do? So when it came to, like I said, OB, I specifically knew I wanted to do OB. So when my rotation came about, I made sure I sat in the front of the class. I want to learn as much as I possibly can about OB and how it works and what I needed to do to get a job. All right, so my brows are done, as you can see. Next, we're gonna go in with um, my foundation. And today, we're actually, as you know, I already primed my face with that uh, product. We're gonna actually use, again, I'm, I'm using mostly new products that I've recently purchased. We're gonna use the uh, Pretty Fresh ColourPop Foundation. I am in the color Dark 155W. And this foundation costs, I want to say, about $16 at Ulta. This, as you're going to be able to see, is initially too yellow for me, but it oxidizes. So, we're going to definitely put this on. And I'm going to use my egg here, my brown one that I have purchased from Amazon. It came in this little container that holds it as such. So, so cute. So, I'm going to use that. We're going to dot this on my face. And like I said, it is, you'll see at first, you're like, ooh, that's too yellow. And it is at first, but it comes out very pretty. I do not put foundation on my forehead. I mean, I do put it on my forehead, but I don't apply it directly. I just use whatever's left um, on the sponge for my forehead. And I think we're good. So as I was saying, you wanna make sure you find some time to really research what you wanna do. Is it something you can do long-term? Is it something your body can withstand? Can you handle the, the hustle and bustle of basically trying to do the jobs you wanna do? And again, for me, like I said, for OB, I knew I wanted to do this anyway. Now, when it came to my OB rotation, I'm gonna look in the mirror, my vanity mirror, to, to actually put it on. Um, when it came to that, I also go ahead and put some over my eyelid because that's how I just basically use it as my base. I don't put any primer on my eye. I just use the foundation. And I want to go over here, as you can see, all the way over to my hairline. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's kind of how I decided. So I've always wanted to be a nurse, okay? No, I haven't. 
I've always wanted to be an OB nurse. So if I was going to be a nurse, and what actually what actually made me decide is when I had my second child, and I was just like, oh, I could probably do this. And my daughter went to NICU. My second daughter went to NICU, and she went for six days. And I visited her visited her often in the hospital, every day, two or three times a day. And I decided right then, I said, you know what? I could possibly do this job. I think I can do it. And it wasn't to be a NICU nurse. I, I was really watching more so the postpartum. This is where I take the excess and just do it on my forehead. Um, I have my hair gonna be coming down today, so it'll be covering most of it anyway. So I don't want a lot of product up there. Plus I have that pimple right here. So yes, it looks a little yellow, but it will oxidize. All right, I changed my lighting. Now it looks better. So you can see it's yellow, it looks better now. All right, but I changed my vanity mirror. It has three different settings. I just changed the lighting on that so that it will look more like me, but you could see that definitely that it's yellow, but you see. All right. Next, after I do my foundation, then typically I go right on in and do my um, eyes. And we are going to use the chocolates palette by Juvia's Place is one of my most favorite palettes. $14 at um, Ulta, where I picked it up at. And we are going to use this shade right here, which is called, does it have a name? I don't know if they have names or not, because I don't see a name, but we're gonna use this one right here for transition. Um, let me see, where is my actual, it's not the right brush, but we're gonna use it anyway. This is my Sedona Lace Brush. We're gonna use this one. Don't wanna use this one. I don't wanna use this one. We're actually gonna use my NYX brush. We're gonna use a NYX brush. So anyway, that's what I recommend that you do. I definitely recommend that you, and you can't really see this color, but I like it because it does basically um, arch the brow some. So it definitely have some, or arches it, I like that. I know I'm all over the place with this video, but hey, just listen and watch. So, like I said, you just definitely want to have a plan and you want to know what you like and what you don't like. If you did your rotation in OB and or ER or whatever it happens to be and you didn't like it, did you not like it because, you know, you had a bad instructor? Do you have bad experience because of the, because of the nurses? Um, was your experience a hands-on experience? Did you actually get to do stuff or were you delegated to doing basically ADLs, something that you probably don't want to do because um, you really want to get an idea of what the area of nursing really is if it happens to be what your specialty, you want your specialty to be in. So I definitely understand that you may not have the best experiences when it comes to your clinical rotations, but I definitely want you to be there and definitely ask questions. So if you don't ask questions, you know, if you, I tell my students all the time, if you're going to hold up a wall, they will let you hold up a wall. You have to be engaged in your education. And if you're not engaged in your education, then no one may not care. Keep in mind, they already have, they already have their license. I'm using this color right here for the outer crease area. It's not the right one I wanna use. I'm using a Milani brush for this. So, you know, you, you have to kind of be mindful of that. And when I went into my clinical rotations, I went in knowing 
that I wanted to be this kind of nurse. So I went in with the mindset of I'm going to basically ask questions. I'm going to get on people's nerves because at the end of the day, this is what I want to do when I grew up, so to speak, when I became a nurse. This is what I wanted to do. And so anyway, that's what I did. So what? think about this. You know, you go to nursing school, you spend all this money. What do you really want to do? You know, what do you really want to do? And I will say this. If you don't know what you want to do by the time you finish nursing school, then the best thing I would recommend is going to med surge. If you went through all your program and you did not know, you still couldn't decide what you wanted to do, nothing really, nothing really, you know, moves you, then go into med surge and get your foundational skills until you want you figure out what you really want to do. And then you move on from there if that's what you want. So that's what I recommend. Um, People think, I want to talk about myths. People think that OB is an easy floor. Um, so if you're not, if you're thinking about OB, don't come because it's easy. Don't come because you think that moms are easy and babies are easy. That's farthest from the truth. We have moms who are addicted to drugs. We have moms who um, are just non-compliant with their regimen. We have high-risk moms, as you probably already know. We have all kinds of situations that we, we have to deal with. Next, I'm gonna use this color right here for the lid. And so, um, I like a kind of smoky, smoky eye, but not a dark smoky eye, like, like a black. I like the brown smoky eye. So be mindful of that, okay? You want to, you want to pick an area in which you know how to do the job and you're going to be recept you're going to be well received and you are going to actually do and do the job good if you don't think you're going to do the job well if you don't think you have the ability to pick up the pace when it comes to even ob we we have good days and bad days and ob is definitely feast or famine feast or famine meaning that there's days where we come in and there's absolutely nothing to do and I mean nothing to do. Then there's days we come in and you don't sit down for the entire 12 hours. And that's basically how it is. There's days where you just don't, you know, you, you have to come in ready to do whichever one it happens to be. All right, now I'm going to go back to this color right here and actually go over the end right here so I can ombre it out or blend it, not ombre it, blend it out. And I'm going to use that color also to smooth the edges right through here. Just to smooth it out so it blends. So anyway, again, think about that. Is that something that you really want to, to do? I knew when OB, when I went and did my rotation, and then it depends on the hospital too. All hospitals are not the same. So if you're going to a small community hospital... If you're at a small community hospital, you very well may not see as much going on as someone who's going to a teaching hospital or an urban hospital. So be mindful of that. It just depends on it just depends on the caliber of patients that they see there. And so I would recommend you do some research about the hospital that you want to go to because every hospital is not the same. Hospitals in the South, see where I made this mistake right here? I'm just going to basically use my sponge. And use my concealer, not concealer, but use my foundation, excess foundation, and that's how you correct that. So if you make a mistake, just like that, that's what you can do. Use your excess, and it will correct it. So, anyway, that's kind of what you have to do. Okay, I'm pretty much done with my eyes for now. I do need to blend some more, but for the most part, I'm done. Um, that's what you need to do. All right, so that part is done. What else can I recommend? In terms of specialties, in terms of, you know, what do you like to do? Where do you want to go? Um, how long do you see yourself being in that area of nursing? Do you, you know, we talked about already, a little bit already. 
Um, next, next we're going to do my bronzer as soon as I find it. Here it is. I forgot to tell you all for my lip. I just have on a, bon a lip balm right now. It is the Fruit Fetish by Milani. It's one of the newer lip balms. This is Mango, Co Mango Coconut Lip Balm. And I love it. That's what I have on right now. So I always put a lip balm on after I brush my teeth so that I can condition my lips for whatever lipstick I'm going to use. Anyway, back to the bronzer. We're going to use the uh, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. We're going to use the uh, number three, which I think is tan. This is what it looks like right here. And I'm going to use this brush that I picked up from this brush right here that I picked up from Target. It's a Sonia Kashuk or whatever whatever the name is brush. I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm going to, I have hair on my face at the moment. Use this bronzer right through here. You can see so I don't use blush we're not using blush today I'm just wanting something really simple this is simple for me look at that that's gorgeous all right let's do the other side so like I said you know you have to know what's good for you and when it comes to OB, if you don't think you can deal with moms who abuse drugs, if you don't think, you know, in terms of providing great patient care, despite the fact that you have issues with that, if you don't think you can handle something like that, then OB is not for you. If you don't think you can handle the fact that babies get taken away um, from moms who are, again, not doing what they're supposed to do, you know, if you don't like the fact that moms are drug, at least at our hospital, are drug screened, all our moms are drug screened when they when they arrive. Then this may not be the place for you. If you don't like the fact that this is not the right brush for this, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, if you don't like the fact that you have to call DCS and report these moms. This may not, depending on your state, what they require, this may not be for the, the job for you. If you don't like the fact that it's just not an easy job, again, this is not the job for you. For the, um, my highlight, which I love highlight, I'm using the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is meant to be used all over your face. However, I only use this to highlight. Very pretty. This is in the color, I guess, deep. Whatever the darkest color is, is what I have it in. And this is what the powder looks like. Oh, it's called dark. And I basically just take my, um, where is it at? Highlight brush. And this is by e.l.f. It's just an e.l.f. highlighting brush right here. And I just dip it in as such. Just get a little bit on there. Dust it off. And I simply just... Right through here. It has flecks of highlight in it. It is a setting powder, but it does have flecks of highlight in it. So that's the reason why I use it as a highlighter. And it's, you know, right through here. As you can see right through here my hair and my face and then we'll do the same to the other side Do my nose. As you can see, it's... 
All right, we are going to use a, I didn't highlight or not come highlight, I didn't conceal, but I still like to use the Chanel um, powder right here for under eye. And I have this brush by It Cosmetics called the Airbrush. Um, it's for concealer. So basically I'm just gonna use this to um, basically just pat this under my eye to help brighten it. Has the Chanel um, brush in there, or not sponge in there. So I'm just basically gonna dip it in like as such and use it right under my eye. And I like a subtle brightness. I don't want to be too bright under my eye. I'm a simple makeup person when it comes to makeup. I don't do all these extra, I don't contour, I don't do any of that. I don't have time for all that. So back to what I was saying, you know, think about those things if you can handle that in terms of OB. Can you handle crying babies? Some people, some of my students are like, oh, I cannot handle, I cannot stand hearing these babies cry. I can't stand that. Well, this is not the area for you. And honestly, as time goes on, we tend to tune it out anyway. It's no different than having your own children. After a while, you don't even hear your own children, you know? You know they're there. And matter of fact, you hear noise, and you're like, okay, well, they must be fine because I can hear them. But you don't really get preoccupied with that, if that makes sense. Because you know that they're fine. So, you know, if the baby is crying, it's fine. But yes, you do need to check on the baby. Um, you have to get used to moms who don't want to have their babies. Some, some, some students I've had, it's like, I can't believe as a mom, they wouldn't want to have their baby in the room with them. No, not all moms do. A lot of times they need breaks and, you know, we have to give them their breaks. But they don't always want their babies in the room with them. And that's okay. Um, so if that offends you, this may not be the area for you. All right. Next, we are going to basically set this makeup. I do my mascara after the fact. I don't do lashes at all. This right here is the Milani um, Fruit Fetish and the, and the scent Mango Coconut. It's a setting spray. This is something I just picked up. You should have seen this in my haul. Smells divine. And we're going to let this dry. I typically take a um, card from one of my wigs and fan. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara. And this is something that's not new, but it's something that I have been enjoying. It's newer to me, but I've been enjoying. All right, so this right here is called the um, Lash lash Blowout. Very cute right here. And I'm going to basically put it on. This mascara right here is wonderful. And I typically don't do bottom lashes. I just don't. I'm just lazy. I just don't do all of that. Especially just to do videos. Because you can't see me close up majority of the time anyway. So do you think you can handle babies crying all the time? Do you think you can handle you know, um, drug moms, do you think you can handle same-sex couples? Do you think you can handle surrogate moms? Do you think you can handle a fetal loss, a fetal demise? Meaning that if the baby passes away or if the mom passes away. I've had situations where I've had a Jehovah Witness 
and because of their beliefs, she did not receive blood products because of the fact that she didn't want any blood products. That's what they believed. So she died. The mom died as a result of that. That was a very difficult day for us. Very difficult day. Because some of the nurses were kind of like, well, I would have changed religions that day, you know, but you know, that is what her belief is and we had to respect that. So what I'm saying is, could you handle something like that? Could you handle someone who, um, who basically has a different belief than yours and, and, and still be the best nurse that you possibly be? All right, now I'm going to use what's called my, um, by L'Oreal's, my Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. This is what it looks like right here. You saw me pick this up in a uh, TJ Matt, no, Target haul. And I love this. You know, like I said, I have dry, I have oily skin anyway, but when it comes to glowing, I love to glow. I love highlight. As you can see right here, I love highlight. So I'm going to be glowing. All right, here we go. Smells divine. I love the way it smells. Fan again. And for my lip today, I think I'm going to do a red lip. I happen to love red lips. And so I'm going to do a red lip today. I thought I was going to do a nude lip. But I think I'm going to do red. I think I'm going to definitely show out today. and do a red lip. So. All right, so for my lip, we're going to do um, something by Fenty. I love Fenty. So by Fenty, we have the Fenty, um, what was it called? It was called the Fenty Beauty Pout Sickle right here. And this is hot blooded. And you, I love a red lip. This is not new. This came out probably a year or so ago. This is what the packaging looked like right here. This is what the lipstick looked like. And this is what we're gonna put on. I love a red lip. All right, so All right, so this is the finished look right here. As you can see, I have, um, so anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We were a little bit all over the place, but at the end of the day, what you need to think about is, is the specialty that you pick good for you? Can you handle what goes on in that specialty? When you go on your clinical rotations, please spend some time asking the nurses questions, asking, asking the instructor questions, and definitely get to know the staff at the hospital. That is my biggest recommendation, is to get to know the staff at the hospital. And if you think you're interested in working on that unit, take the time to definitely, definitely, definitely find out who the manager is, get some key people on, on your team so that you can decide if you want to work on this floor or not, get their names, their information, let them refer you, let them use, as a, let, use them as a recommendation um, for you to get that job. Now, while you're on clinicals, definitely, definitely, definitely make yourself known while you're there. Definitely, definitely, definitely stand up, show out, show up, show out, be on time, 
so you can learn more about that specialty before you actually try to apply for that job. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until the next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.